Are you looking for that perfect piece of gear that's going to enhance your Comic-Con experience? We may have found just what you're looking for. In today's video, we review the Hex X Jim Lee Collector's Backpack. Stay with us. Hey everybody, my name's Drew Stewart. If we are just meeting, I am the owner of Como Comic Books and we are a Columbia, Missouri based comic book vendor. And here on our YouTube channel, we focus on bringing you the best tips and tricks that will help you take your comic collection to the next level. Today's video is something I've been really excited about for a while now. It's, it's one of those things that's taken a bit to get all the pieces put together and I'm finally able to sit down and complete this video. Recently I was able to get in contact with Hex Backpacks and get my hands on a couple of the new Hex X Jim Lee collector's backpacks. If you're not familiar with these backpacks, they are the result of a collaboration between Hex and Jim Lee and Torpedo Comics and they've all put their minds together to generate what they feel is the quote unquote perfect Comic Con backpack. This is a backpack that is going to be geared towards comic book collectors that are attending comic shows or comic conventions. And I think the result of that collaboration is really interesting. And I wanted to take the time to go over my thoughts with you regarding this backpack. The initial wave of the Hex X Jim Lee collector's backpack came out last year. I remember seeing a few reviews of the very first waves on YouTube. I remember reading some stories about it on the internet and my initial reaction just based solely off of what I was seeing and what I was reading was kind of mixed. Hex is now restocked and you're seeing this second wave of backpacks hit the market. With the original release of the Jim Lee Collector's backpack, there was a Kickstarter only version which featured special artwork in a different color on the outside of the backpack. Now that the second wave is available, the standard edition with the blue artwork is available once again, it's back in stock, but the Kickstarter version has not been reissued. And what we have now is the Dawn of the Bat Collector's Edition of the Hex X Jim Lee Collector's backpack. It's a limited edition, limited to only 500 pieces, and it features a specialized Jim Lee artwork on the outside of the bag, as you just saw. Additionally, the special edition has custom bat logo pulls for a couple of the different pockets. So in that way, the collector that really wants to go all in on this backpack can set themselves apart with the limited edition version. Now I'm gonna go through some of the features of the Jim Lee collector's backpack. Inside, we've got the custom Jim Lee lining art in black and blue, which is really slick. It's very subtle. I kind of like that. The blue pops off of the black, but you've really got to kind of dive in to pull the details out of the artwork that Jim Lee provided for this. It's a great Batman piece. Um, of course, Batman being one of the characters he's, he's uh, commonly associated with. It's a really nice touch on this backpack. On the inside, you've got a number of sleeves that you can slide slabs in. Has six individual pockets, each that you can put one slab in. I'm assuming is designed to have one slab in. It gets a little cozy if you want to put more than one in there. Um, they're grouped together in sets of three. So you've got a front set and a back set here. So you've got three slabs in the front, three slabs in the back, and there's a space in the middle along the main part of the bag. Cool thing about the way the center of the bag is laid out is where you've got your slabs in your front, and slabs in the back. There's a main space in the middle. You can stick a jacket in there. You can put some raw books in there. Or if you have one of my preferred uh, tools of the trade, a store folio, that slides right in between the slab pockets really well. Makes a nice tight package. This main compartment, all in all, I think is very well done. You also have a tie down system, which secures your slabs into the slab slots. So if your bag goes topsy turvy, you don't have to worry about your slabs uh, working their way out of these sleeves. Also in the back of the main compartment is a 
laptop storage area. If you have a laptop, I want to say it's about up to 15 or 16 inches will fit in here. I know I've got a 17 inch laptop and it's a little too big for this compartment. Focusing on the main pocket of the bag, I think everything that happened in here is very well thought out. The slab sleeves are all like a felt or fleece lined, so they're very soft. You're not going to have to worry about your slabs getting scratched up or rubbing together unless you do try and put more than one slab per sleeve. And another thing, if uh, you don't want to put your store folio in the middle section, you can in reality fit even more slabs in the middle of the bag. So I think it would be no problem. Nine would be absolutely a breeze. And I would imagine you could probably get even 10 or 11 if you utilize the center portion of the main compartment for additional slabs. Those slabs in the middle aren't going to have the benefit of the fleece line slots like the front and back three will. But by the time you get that many slabs in there, it's going to be pretty full in the compartment. And you're not going to have a lot of loose room for those slabs to shift around. So each side has a mesh pocket on the bottom and above each one of those pockets is an elastic loop. Now where that can come in handy, if you are a print collector or a poster guy, what have you, if you carry a poster tube with you while you're at the show, you can take that poster tube, slide it right in on the side of the bag and you can tighten that down and your concerns about your prints, your posters, all your rolled materials are completely alleviated. It's very secure. You don't have to worry about bent corners, setting them down somewhere and leaving them. This is a great integration, something you don't see in most backpacks. And I think particularly if you're at a bigger show that's full of swag or you're a print guy, that's your thing. This is gonna be a game changer for you. So that is a great addition. Each side of the bag features the tube holder strap and mesh slot. On the right hand side of the bag as you're facing it, again you have the mesh pocket, the elastic holder at the top, but additionally you have a little discrete pocket here on the side. And it, it lines up right with the elastic slot here. And it's a pretty good deep pocket. I'd say it's probably a good six or seven inches deep. I think this would be a great place for a cell phone or if you want to stick your wallet somewhere. After spending some time with the bag, I think that's where I would keep my phone or my wallet if I wasn't going to carry it in my pocket. One of the cooler features of the bag is also here on this right hand side and that is the zipper lock. This is a security feature that's been added to the bag and what it does is it allows you to take a hook that is attached to the bag via an elastic cord and you can lock in the tabs of the zipper so that nobody can open your bag while it's on your back. As you can see, if you do both of them in there, you can only get it open about an inch and a half, two inches. So that is a great security feature that's gonna keep somebody who's very talented in the art of sneakery to be able to zip open your backpack, grab your slabs out and make out like a bandit. That is a great peace of mind uh, addition to the bag compared to what you can get in other backpacks, just general off the shelf backpacks. And I think of all the great features this bag has, that is going to be particularly meaningful to the folks who walk around with really high end slabs in their bag. This is a feature that simply allows you to protect your investment, whether your big investment is a hundred dollar slab or your big investment is a 30 or $40,000 slab that you're carrying around on the show floor at C2E2. This is going to give you peace of mind and allow you to relax a little bit as you're walking the floor, knowing that your slab or your other books are safe. On the front of the bag, we've got a quick access pocket. This pocket is about a hand deep. My personal experience with this pocket is that it's a little narrow. It's hard for me to get my hand all the way into the pocket. Other people aren't going to have that same issue. Your mileage will vary based on the size of your hands. This pocket is a great place to keep anything you need to get to quickly, easily, often while you're on the sales floor. Below the quick access pocket is a larger secondary outside pocket. It's got a single zipper on it. It zips from left to right and it folds open to reveal 
a small organizer. You've got a larger main pocket in the back. Also back here, you've got a little clip for your keys. If you want to put your keys in your backpack, you've got a couple of slots for pins, or if you're a signature buff, you can get your special Sharpies, you know, your gold, your, your copper, your silver Sharpies, whatever your favorite colors are. You can get those stored up here. It's got a couple of smaller little sleeves in the back where you can put business cards, your wallet, um, your battery bank, whatever you carry with you just a small little organizational uh, solution there and the main part of this front pocket is designed specifically to hold an overstreet price guide it is perfectly sized for that i've put both soft cover and the hard cover in the hard cover is a little bit tighter obviously but both the hardcover and soft cover do fit just fine. One thing I found when I did have the Overstreet price guide in this front pocket is that it's rather difficult to access some of the other things you've got inside this pocket. So if you're using this organizer uh, for your pins, your business cards, your wallet, maybe you've got a tablet or something in there, you may need to remove the Overstreet first uh, just so you can get access to all of that stuff because when you have the Overstreet price guide in there, it really eats up a lot of the space that was allotted uh, for this pocket. So just keep that in mind. Some other features on the back, you've got a padded mesh backing, should be good and breathable. When I loaded my bag up and wore it around the house for 20 minutes or so, it was very comfortable under a moderate load. I was able to adjust the straps, kind of dial it in and get it to where it was comfortable. I feel like the mesh will help it breathe on your back so you don't have to worry about uh, that uncomfortable back sweat you get when you're you know, slugging across the sales floor on a hot summer's day. I think that'll help keep you cool. The shoulder straps are, are nice and padded. I really like those. The shoulder straps have a lateral strap to help hold the straps in. One thing I particularly enjoyed about that feature is that it's adjustable. You can move it up and down the shoulder straps based on your need. I know I'm a bigger guy. Usually those straps are fixed and they're fixed high enough up on the strap that I'm basically choking myself when I utilize this feature. Thankfully on this bag, I can adjust that all the way down and the fit is perfect. It's really great. So I was very excited about that. Last thing on top, you've got a handle so if you get back to your hotel room you can throw it on a, a doorknob or a hook you can hang it up in a closet when you're not using it just another handy little feature probably uh, something that's not too exciting or special you see that in most backpacks but still very functional last thing as far as a general description of the bag goes the bottom has a vinyl or a pleather type material on it so in the very likely uh, circumstance that at some point in time you're at a show and you set the bag down and there's some sort of mystery substance or mystery fluid on the sales floor if that happens to be where you set your bag it's not going to soak in and get to whatever you have in the bag I'm fairly confident that this vinyl or pleather like substance is going to be water resistant and it's going to help keep your items safe in the bag all in all I think this is a great little backpack. I'm excited to see it in an actual con setting and really get it out in the element it was intended for, uh, but I think it's gonna perform really well. I haven't seen anything as far as a construction or an assembly um, regard that gives me concern. It appears to be really well made. Materials seem to be quality and I really think it's been designed and built to be a tool that will last for several years under normal wear and tear. Obviously, there's always that extenuating circumstance, something crazy happens. All in all, I think this is a bag that will last for many, many comic conventions, comic seasons. As far as the collector's edition bag goes, it features the exact same amenities, pockets, everything as the standard edition bag. As mentioned previously, the main thing that sets this bag apart from the standard edition bag is the artwork on the exterior. You've got the Batman logo pulls on the Overstreet pocket and this quick access pocket. The other pulls are all the same as the standard edition. On the inside of the bag, again, it is the exact same 
as the standard edition with the exception of the fact that it has the yellow Jim Lee lining art and it also features this little logo up the top which identifies it as the limited edition and tells you which number of the 500 you own. This particular copy is number 400 out of the 500 that were made. One thing I will say about the limited edition is that I noticed when I had it full of slabs and when I went to use the toggle and loop strap that's designed to hold your slabs in place, I noticed that that loop was extremely tight. Tight to the point that it was pretty tough to actually get the loop over the, the little toggle to hold the books in. Tight to the point that I was borderline concerned it might damage the slabs. I left my slabs in the bag tied down for a couple of days just to see if that would loosen the elastic, maybe if I could get a better fit after it kind of stretched out a little bit. I wasn't able to pick up any noticeable difference as far as the loop stretching out or being a little easier to work with. It was still really tight after a few days. I don't know if in the long term that's something that may loosen up, if it's something that is just particular to my bag, if some of the other limited edition uh, loops and toggles fit better when you have th three slabs in each pocket. I don't know. It's just something I thought I should point out for anybody who's looking to spend the extra money to get this limited edition bag. Visually, I think the limited edition is awesome. I'm partial to black and gold, so I think it makes a really really striking bag. One thing that I would say is maybe a, a negative as far as the limited edition goes, it's not as discreet as the standard edition. With the standard having the art on the inside, it's blue on black so it's not overly flashy. You're able to fly under the radar and people might not notice that you're carrying a backpack that's designed specifically for comic books. So if you're hoping to discreetly work your way through a comic convention, the limited edition version may not be the one you want to go with as it is a little bit flashier and will not blend in quite as well as the standard edition will. Now I just want to sum up some of my thoughts regarding the Hex X Jim Lee Collector's Backpack. The first concern I have with the backpack is the comfort level when you're running at full capacity. I did not weigh the bag, so I'm not able to tell you exactly how many pounds of junk I had in it, but with nine slabs, an overstreet, a battery bank, a flashlight, my wallet, my cell phone, cell phone cord, pins, post-it notes, all this stuff I usually carry with me. After about 15 minutes, I was looking for a reason to take off the bag. I did not want to continue carrying it. So if you're the kind of person that goes to a convention, stays there all day long, doesn't go back to your hotel room, doesn't take a break, and you're buying, you're loading yourself up early in the day, that is one thing to be aware of, that when it is at maximum capacity, the backpack can be slightly uncomfortable. Everyone's mileage may vary a little bit there, just something to be aware of. Also, I feel like this bag is specifically tailored towards the slab collector. Whether that's CGC, CBCS, one of the other grading companies, this bag is specialized towards a collector who's purchasing and carrying or transporting slabbed books. So if you're a raw collector or you don't buy a lot of slabs at a show, this may not be the best piece of equipment to add to your comic convention loadout. A standard backpack with a couple of store folios or a messenger bag may be the best for you. And that leads me into my next point, which is price. This is not a budget loadout backpack. This bag is designed for the collector that wants top flight gear and quality tools to improve their comic con or comic collecting experience. The budget-minded collector probably is not going to be comfortable with investing in the Jim Lee collector's backpack. The standard model retails at the time of shooting this video at $129.95 on Amazon. The collector's edition is currently retailing at $159.95. So the average collector may find that they're not getting enough additional value out of the bag to justify the expense. 
The last opportunity or concern I had with the bag is something I mentioned previously, and that's when you get your Overstreet price guide in that front pocket. It can be a little hard to access the other things you have in the organization section. So whether that's your wallet, your pins, business cards, whatever else you have in there, especially your keys. Um, honestly, when you have a hardback copy of Overstreet in there, that the rigidity of it really restricts access and space even more. And if you have a large key ring or a large vehicle key, it may be challenging for you to get your keys in that front pocket at all. So if that's the case, you may need to fall back, put your keys in like the quick access pocket or that discreet little side pocket. Regardless, this backpack has plenty of space and wherever you put things, you're gonna be able to get everything you need and more into this backpack when you hit the sales floor. The things I really enjoyed about this backpack, first off, the level of detail that went into protecting slabs, customizing the bag towards keeping your slabs safe is off the charts. The felt lining, the individual slots, the toggle and loop that goes over the top to help hold them down in place, uh, the fact that they're grouped in clusters of three at opposite sides of the main compartment. Every little detail that went into the main compartment of the backpack regarding the storage and transportation of slabbed comics, graded comics, is fantastic. So my hat goes off to Hex, Jim Lee, the gang at Torpedo Comics. I think that is a wonderfully designed, built, executed concept. You guys did a great job there. As a collector that purchases slabs, particularly high end or high grade, high value slabs, I have felt the anxiety that comes with putting a high dollar slab in a less than secure storage solution at a show going to a show coming from a show with this backpack all of that anxiety concern is relieved it's just gone i have no doubt any slab i put in a sleeve of this backpack is going to be as well protected as possible while i'm going from a to b or while i'm at the show so once again kudos to the team this is great the next pro I really have for the backpack is regarding the standard backpacks level of discretion. Unless someone specifically knew what this backpack was, I don't think anyone on the show floor at a con or a show would have any idea the level of specialization that went into this backpack. And why is that important? I think that's important because if somebody knows that you care enough to invest in a piece of gear like the Hex X Jim Lee Collector's Backpack, it's not too much of an intellectual leap to assume that there's good stuff in that backpack. So the higher level of discretion you can keep, particularly when you are rolling around with hundreds of dollars worth of slabs, thousands of dollars worth of slabs, the better in my opinion. The next pro, very very functional there is not a single wasted inch in this backpack every zipper every pocket every strap every element of this bag was meticulously thought out and the concept was executed at a very high level I think you'll find the overall level of function and utility in this bag to be well beyond that of any just standard backpack that you buy and use as a convention backpack. The last thing I'll throw out as a pro for the Hex X Jim Lee Collector's backpack, just versatility. This bag lends itself to collectors all across the spectrum. You have the pocket and the elastic strap for the poster tubes. You have the custom Overstreet pocket on the front. You have the slab sleeves in the main compartment it's lights out if you are a regular comic-con attendee a serious comic book collector a major art enthusiast anyone who regularly attends a comic-con a comic show what have you this backpack is 
designed with you in mind. It's designed to really enhance your overall experience at your show or your convention. So last but not least, I wanna thank Hex for giving me the opportunity to review these backpacks. It's been a really great experience. I'm happy to have finally gotten my hands on the collector's backpack. Like I said, when they were first announced last fall, I had some reservations about it. Uh, the price point kind of scared me off, to be honest. And I can see how some of those concerns may still be out there in the market. But as far as I'm concerned, I think this is a great improvement as far as the tools I was using at a, as a comic collector. From a business standpoint, I don't know that it's going to replace my current bag when I'm setting up at a convention or a show as a vendor, but for shows I'm attending as a collector or a shopper myself, I think this is a big step forward and I'm really excited um, and really looking forward to an opportunity to get out and see how it performs once we're able to get back out there. Uh, and comic shows and comic conventions are happening on the regular once again. If you would like more information on the Hex X Jim Lee Collector's Backpack, I'm going to drop some links down below in the description. I will drop a link for both the Standard and the Collector's Edition. So whichever version you're interested in, just hit the link and Amazon will get you all the additional information you need to know. As always, just a quick disclaimer that links in the description may be affiliate links and what that means is if you click on the link and decide to buy something we may earn a small commission and that helps us keep the channel going and helps the channel and we're very appreciative of those of you who have done so in the past question of the day what do you think of the hex x jim lee collector's backpack what features does it have that you really like what would you like to have seen in it let me know in the comments below as always thank you so much for watching Big shout out to everybody who engages with us in the comments section and all of our videos. We really enjoy talking shop with everybody in the comments section. It's great to be able to connect with you all and help build the Como Comic Books community here on YouTube. If you enjoyed today's video or any of our other videos, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. We very much appreciate it. And as always, we will see you in the next video.